Your choices shape the story of Nocturnals. Choose carefully. Ooh, I'm excited, actually. I didn't realize this was going to be a choice-based game. Hey -o. Also, uh, fun fact, chat, apparently this game was made by students, which A up the students. If they can make a great game, I'll be proud, I'll be happy. It's going to be really embarrassing though if uh, students are able to make a better game than, uh, what do you call it, AAA Studios. What are we playing? We're playing Nocturnals. Uh, from what I can tell, it's a post-apocalyptic, uh, choice-like game. You pick choices, and depending on your decisions, depends on the actions and consequences you deal with. Other than that, I know absolutely nothing of the game. That is pretty much just a synopsis and what I've gathered so far from what I've seen. Other than that, though, I have no idea what this game is about, or what we're gonna run into. So it'll be a nice little surprise for both of us. For me and you, chat, it'll be a nice little surprise for both for us. Furniture Valley. Zone 25. Just in time for me tea. <laughs> yeah, something tells me it might be a bit of a lengthy game, so I'd say get grab some food, get comfortable. I'm not sure yet, but something tells me it might be a bit lengthy. Alright, I have a pistol. Good, Hello? good. Hello? I'm just looking for some fuel. Is anyone here? And over the bloody fuel. Oh, this is actually first person. Okay, this is taking me well off by surprise. I didn't think this was first person. This is interesting. Has a very interesting art style as well. I really, really like the art style. Okay, I don't know the controls, but I'm sure we'll figure them out. It's locked. Okay, left mouse is to do stuff. stuff. This is really cool, actually. I like this. Oh, I don't like the vents, though. Oh! Why did that jump scare me? I think it was more of a I think it was more of a sudden surprise. Hmm. Well, at least I'm in. At least I am in. Although it looks very empty. I imagine we'll find many supplies here. Customer service? Oh. Okay. That's a door that needs a code. What have we got? Izzy and Cora. Lovely. I love monkeys. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting message. I'm guessing that person's just played uh, Black Myth Wukong recently. <laughs> oh, lovely little drones. Look at drones. I guess whoever lived here can't be that bad. Hmm. I need to practice my reading at some point. I'm not very good. So I wonder how many years it's been since the apocalypse started in this universe. Also, I don't quite know what I'm meant to do. Living room, we got a number seven. Possibly cold. Two, seven, two, nine, one. Seven two nine one. There's a bloody ice cream truck coming on the street. I apologize for the background noise, people. <laughs> uh, right, numbers definitely have to correlate to something, right? Seven, one, two, nine. It could be one, seven, two, nine. Maybe. One, seven, two, nine. Oh! Yes! I'm a genius! I'm so smart. I'm so giga brain. 
Wow, Holy. that's convenient, this fuel. How convenient. How very, very convenient that was, eh? Stop. Whoa! Don't move. I don't want to shoot a kid today. Okay, okay. Is there anyone else with you? Um... No, no, I, I'm by myself. Shit. You shouldn't tell people that. Look, I just came by to get some fuel. You can have it back. <laughs> or if it's food you want, I, I can... I don't care about that. Then what do you want from me? The keys to the truck. The one you Oh, she's going to take my truck. Hmm. No. Mia, what's taking so long? That's a we problem. Don't have time for this. Once the sun goes down, it'll be back. Forget all this. Just shoot him and let's <gasps> go. No. We have time to do this peacefully. Why do you need my truck? There's a nocturnal in Ruddleside. Oh, it's the title of the game. <laughs> There's a nocturnal in Ruddleside. Okay. Then I need to leave too. Why can't we go together? Travel as a group. Why can't we all just go together? Sure, we can just sit on each other's laps and share all our food supplies like a happy family. Bit sarcastic, all right. Yeah. Stupid, it's a two-seater. Put this idiot out of his misery. Oh. He's a fucking kid. I'm... I'm not a murderer. Hand over the keys. Mm, do we lay escalate? Do we lay escalate? Do we threaten them? It's hard to decide because I don't want to get shot in the face. <laughs> but at the same time, I kind of need that truck. So... Plus, I have a gun as well, right? Okay. Drop the gun. Now! Whoa, 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 whoa. Or I'll blow her fucking head off. Mia? I didn't know he had a gun. Drop it! <sighs> no! Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay, we, we, we crank. Just give me the keys. Oh, this has a really interesting, uh, this is a really interesting, like, way to do your actions. Oh gosh, that one that had another arrow. There we go. <laughs> oh. Am I just dead? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Click anywhere to restart. Open the door. Was I too slow? Shit. Just give me the keys. You come into our home, you steal our things. Wait, I almost got it. There we go. Slow we go. crank skill issue. Yeah, that's how we do it. Just give me the fucking keys. She stabbed me. More like sliced to me, but still, bit rude. Right, that's it. Oh, time to go. Why are we not just using our gun? I feel like we can just point the gun and shoot at her. I. I I, I did try to move my mouse, but... <laughs> okay, little bit of a skill issue on my part. I'm not going to lie. Right, a little bit of a skill it. issue. Oh, gosh. I, I got to say, though, I do really like the art style. Big up the art style, honestly. I've seen my character die twice, but big up the art style. Whack! I don't want to shoot her. I don't want to shoot her. Because if we shoot her, the other the other one might come after me at a later date. Oh, give me that. Did I make a mistake? Okay. Fuck. 
Yes. Oh. I would suggest driving very fast. Oh, wait, am I controlling it? No, never mind. <laughs> so I was controlling it. I was like, don't trust me with driving. She's just a sharpshooter, apparently. Okay. Ooh, that wasn't good. Maybe I should have shot her in the face. <laughs> Maybe I should have shot her in the face. <laughs> because now I'm injured. Although I was worried that if I shot her, the other, the other girl would come after me at a later date. And I didn't want that to happen either. So I was trying to, I was trying to be the best of both worlds. I need to become like hardened. I'm in the post-apocalyptic future here. I need to, I need to be a bit more hardened. I need to shoot people in the face should it come to it. Okay, he's getting a bit. Oh, oh no, we're going into we're going into a bit of a we're going into a bit of a hibernation here. We should probably maybe not sleep when the when the sun's going down. Something tells me that there's going to be monsters. Oh, we're in, now in a bus. Where am I? Who's my savior? <gasps> oh, sorry about that. Oh no. It's just for my own safety, you know? I trust him. He seems like. Wait. He, he's just he's taking precautions, me. you know? Yeah, sorry. My stitching isn't the best. No, 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 no. You, you saved my life. <laughs> well. You're welcome, I guess. Well, this is, um... A little bit awkward. What is this place? So, wh where exactly am I? I mean, what is this old rusty thing? It's where I live. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what? It's fine. It's just an old train carriage. You crashed into the train yard earlier. Oh shit, my truck. I get the How feeling the truck's a little bit beaten up by now. Trust you. Um, well, I was passing through Rodo's side, and I stopped at that furniture place to look for fuel. Furniture Valley? Yeah, that's it. Wait, do you know them? Those people there? No, I stay away from that place. There used to be a whole group, but the nocturnal attacked them a few days ago when I arrived in Rodo's side. I'd be surprised if any of them are still alive. Yeah, there were two of them. Yep, they, they were me. still alive. They were still alive. One of them shot my tires out. That's why I crashed, and oh, I must have blacked out. Not your lucky day, then. Yeah, you could say that. At least I'm alive, though. Thanks to you. I'm Ted, by the way. I'd shake your hand, but... <laughs> What's stopping you from using your left hand? <laughs> it's not the right way to do it. <laughs> Just... Don't try and kill me. That's all I ask. Thanks. Well, this, he seems way nicer than the people I just met. Diego. Nice to meet you, Ted. Diego seems way nicer than the people I just met. He's not trying to shoot at me straight away. Uh, thank you. Thank, thanks for thanks rescuing for me. me. I wouldn't have been able to do this by myself. I'm amazed you've lasted this long, then. Yeah, me too. You know, I've been looking for a community for a while, but well, I've had no luck. Mm. Do you know of any around here? With Furniture Valley out the picture, I don't think so. You're actually the first person I've seen in a while. Damn. Can I ask, why do you want to find other people? I was going to say, if it was me personally, it's always better to stay alone, I think, in these sort of circumstances. But if I had to see it from my character's perspective, I guess there's strength in numbers. Well, isn't it obvious? There's strength in numbers. It means better defense against nocturnals and raiders. Plus, in a group, people's strengths make up for other people's weaknesses. There's no such thing as strength in numbers when it comes to nocturnals. The only way to survive is to hide from them. Communities just attract attention. I'm not surprised there aren't many left around here. 
Being alone can get you killed too. I'm still here. Has he been alone for a while though? Also, what is Nocturnals? I guess whatever that is, is a Nocturnal. It's gone. Of course. As if this town wasn't bad enough already. It's got a fucking Nocturnal. Must have heard your truck crash earlier. I still don't know what I'm gonna do without it. <laughs> is that funny? <laughs> no, no. I was just thinking about how I know where another working car is. Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> how? The only place left with cars are the communities. I mean, that's where I got my truck from at least. I thought the rest had rusted away, no? This one was stored indoors, perfect condition, fully fueled up. All it was missing was a battery, like the one in your crashed truck. Amazing. Well, where is it? Hold on, hold on. First, let's make this a deal. If I show you where this car is, then you can drop me outside of Ruddle's side, and we can go our separate ways. Deal? Yeah. Sounds good. But you aren't going anywhere in that condition. We'll have to wait a couple of days for your wound to heal properly. Try not to get cabin fever. Fever? Are you sick? Is it contagious? I can't tell if you're joking. It's not <laughs> an actual disease, it's a saying. As in, we'll get sick of each other? Well, I hope not. Right, we need to sleep. I'll stay up a bit in case it comes back. <sighs> Good night, Ted. Good night, Diego. I was gonna say, there's no way my character is just like perfectly healthy after that conversation. It seemed like the glass like stuck in quite far. But we're getting a bit of a time lapse. Ed and Diego. Diego seems pretty cool, all things considered. <laughs> that is what I would say. And they're, they're clearly making quick friends. Looks like it's getting better. Three days later. What's happening three days later then? Oh, we're back in. Or oh, can I play the guitar? I still haven't heard him play guitar yet. Oh, I was hoping I would play the guitar. I've had that t-shirt for years. And it, nice hoodie now. it got stabbed, it got stabbed by Ted Ainsley. Is it Diego that I drew? Very good picture, all things considered. Enjoy your lion. I'm starting to think you died of your injuries. Hey, I've had an exhausting last few days. Oh, of course. Sitting around in a train carriage all day can be so tiring. Hmm. My wound's getting a lot better. Good. No fever or anything? Nope. Just cabin fever. <laughs> so, what are you up to here then? Making a fire. We need to eat before we head out. Wait, we're leaving today? I could use a couple more days still. We have no choice. The Nocturnal's been here twice in three days now. We can't stay in Rural Side. Hmm. So okay. the Nocturnals aren't to gather logs necessarily yeah, like absolutely. undead people. Take your pick. Mm, I'll look for logs. I feel like that'll be easier than food. I mean, what if I come across a bear in that forest? I wouldn't be able to fight it with my wound. Yeah, the wound is the mm. only reason you wouldn't win in a fight against a bear. <laughs> hey, you haven't seen me when I'm angry. Okay. Do you think a nocturnal would win against a bear? Well, there aren't any bears left, so that's a clue. Hmm. I wonder... Okay, so the nocturnals clearly aren't human. 
I wonder if we'll get a chance to see a nocturnal. I don't want to go down there. Oh, sorry. I guess we just look for logs then, which we've already found one. See, this is why I took the log quest. I knew it'd be so much easier. Oh, I have to bring it to the fire pit one at a time. No, I was hoping I'd be able to carry several. Okay, I'm guessing maybe I collect about three. Although I want to go and explore. You've given me a whole world here to explore. But I can't. Yeah, it won't let me. Sad times. Would you rather be trapped in the woods with a nocturnal or a man? <laughs> Is that the classic? Would you rather be trapped with a man or a bear? And then people pick the bear. Um, We've not seen what the nocturnals are like, have we yet? We'll have to see what the nocturnals are like. Oh, maybe I can get out here? Nope. Maybe if I had gone hunting for food, I could have gone out that way. That's all of them collected. I'm back. Already? No bears then? No bears. There was a little crow with a broken wing though. I gave him a berry. Oh, that's so sweet. And then Come I on, killed please. him. What are we actually eating? Because I thought he would go hunting for an animal. So when he said he found a crow, then I thought he was about to be like, we're having crow for dinner. Okay. Left, up, down. Oh. Don't worry, I'll do it. I, 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 I feel like I was doing it right. <laughs> well, maybe it is a skill issue on my part. <laughs> I just, I just, I'm just not good at quick time events, apparently. And that includes trying to just turn a light well, on. It's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. Go on. What was the worst thing? I ate a meerkat once. What? <laughs> a meerkat? It's, it's like a type of mongoose found in- No, I know what a meerkat is. Which makes me think you don't. It can't have been a meerkat. There aren't any native to these parts. Didn't I tell you that I grew up in a zoo? I thought it was a metaphor. Hmm. No, I told you. I grew up in an abandoned zoo. It's actually not a place to... Bad yeah, place to grow up? Meerkats and... Oh, and it had a gibbon named Lulu. How on earth did a monkey survive all this time? Hmm. I'm gonna make a joke. Well, I just slept in trees and ate bananas. <laughs> oh, we're just eating, like, plants and stuff. We're just eating fruits. I thought it was gonna be a case of let's go and capture some animals and eat them, but... Never mind. Okay, you ready to head out? Vegans in yeah, this economy. I think so. Wait, are you leaving all your stuff behind? Yeah, it's just stuff. None of it's worth my life. Except my guitar, of course. Hey, you still haven't played anything for me, you know. Not gonna happen. I'm rubbish. Come on. I've never heard someone play guitar before. Seriously? Maybe I'll play you something once we're out of Rattleside. Really? That's if we make it. We still need to get there before sunset. Come on, let's go. Okay. So, where are we going then? To the high school. That's where the car is. Oh, do we get to go through the subway now? Let's go. Yeah, it's cool. It's very like, um, sort of like, reminds me of like, Wait, you know, paper animation. We're going down here. Isn't that the kind of place nocturnals live? Trust me, it's the fastest way to the school. We'll be fine. It's like that 2D anime. I mean, it probably is, right? Apart from these sequences might be 3D. Oh no, hey, look, the hey, art, sti the art style is very no, cool though. You mean you don't want to get lost down here? Oh, don't worry about me. Mm. I, think I know what I'm doing. 
This does make me uneasy, to be fair. It seems to have made it this far. Oh, I can just turn it off at any point. I can just put us in pitch black at any point. This is exactly the kind of place Nocturnal would live. Woo! <laughs> hey, why don't we talk about something else? Like, how are you finding that Boss Wigo hoodie? Does it fit okay? Yeah, it's great. Especially oh, did he nice give us a hoodie? What does Boss Vigo mean, anyway? It's the name of the town I grew up in. Boss Vigo. I haven't really mentioned anything about your past. Can I go I faster? I really want to talk about it. Yes! I can go so much faster. Don't really want to talk about it. That's okay. That's okay. We get it. We've all got bad memories. Wait, which way did we come from? Oh, I feel like I'm going the wrong way here. Don't worry, it's nothing that bad. I wasn't enslaved or anything. Are you sure? What were those handcuffs back at the train carriage about then? Not for anything other than protecting myself from strangers. Understandable. You say so. Right, enough now. It's fully flooded. It's quite convenient that there's a train car here then, isn't there? Um, Just up this ladder, come on. So I was in a hurry to go home and watch the rocket. Left the rope in the maintenance room, Oliver. Ooh, wait, can I do secrets? Can I, can I do secrets? Ah, uh, I think I just have to go, don't I? Shame, I wanted to get the collectibles, the secrets. <gasps> oh. So maybe I do need that rope Oops. from the maintenance room. Okay, um, <clears throat> surely there's got to be something you can use. Yep. Yeah, yeah exactly, it's fine. There's, okay. a, there's a maintenance there room something. with rope. Uh, service access. Or am I going to have to, <clears throat> am I, I'm going to have to go all the way back on myself, aren't I? Be careful. So it's the other ramble. Why do I feel like something bad is going to happen? I'm not with Diego anymore and I'm in the darkness. Oh no, this is the worst. I probably should uh, save my sprint a little bit as well. Nothing like being in the complete blackness alone. Okay, so the maintenance room should be down this way. Hopefully. And if I'm mistaken, then I, I, that's a big whoopsie on my part. Maintenance room. I just want to make sure there's nothing else that I can interact with. Right, I've got the rope. <gasps> Something tells me that was a nocturnal. Something tells me that was a nocturnal. Everything's fine. Everything is not fine. Everything is not fine. Because something tells me that was a nocturnal. Whatever they are. I don't know. I don't even know what they are. I should run now, shouldn't I? I'm going to run now. I'm going to run now. Because I get the feeling there might be something behind me. Okay, maybe there's not. But even so, I'm still choosing to run. Surely they have to have some form of weakness, right? That's Quick, take it. There's one down here. A nocturnal. Just take the rope. Okay, come on, quick. Time to leave. Uh, not the guitar. No, my guitar. Leave it, let's go. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, we're leaving the guitar. We're not, we're not gonna risk our life for the guitar. <laughs> Plus, he said leave it. I feel like we're fine. He may be upset about it later on, but at least we have our lives. I'd, I'd rather be alive than, uh, than him having his guitar, you know?
Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> We're now leaving Ruddleside. Oh, whatever the town was called again. The guitar was a present from my mom. I'm sorry. Whoopsie. Maybe I should have... No, don't be silly. Wasn't worth your life. Hey, come on. Let's go. I mean, you could always go back for it. The school's just up this road. He can always go back for it at a, like, a later date. I feel like uh, it's not lost to time, my friend. Hey, is Rodelside near any craters? No, no. The nearest impact site's like hundreds of miles away. Yeah, I thought so. There's too many trees and the buildings here are too intact. Is this a school? Why the military came through here then? They probably came through every town when it all started. But whatever they were trying to accomplish, they obviously didn't get very far. Something tells me that that wasn't the last Nocturnal that we've seen, by the way. I've still not even seen them yet. I don't even know what they look like. Although I get a feeling we're probably going to find See, out at a, at a soon date. <laughs> any, any time in the future, I probably get a feeling we're going to see what the Nocturnals look like. I'm very excited. Because they look like hey, bird monsters. Look at those. Somebody's old pair of glasses. Want to try them on? It feels like they're building up the reveal. Yeah, 100%. What is it? Are we trying on glasses? Guys, the sun's going down. But let's be a little bit goofy. Sure. Why not? You know, I'm actually kind of short-sighted. Don't tell me that. You're supposed <laughs> to be driving us out of here. It's not like there's other cars on the road. Go on, put them on. Beautiful. Oh. Oh no. I have regrets. I the glasses do not eyes. look good. They are probably for reading. Still suits you though. Oh, what's that smell? <gasps> Ooh. I guess we found who owned the glasses. I never noticed him before. Oh, how long has he been here? Well, based on the decay, probably a couple years. Or maybe not a couple of years, but a, a, a while, based on that decay. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to it. That's probably a good thing. Come on, let's go. Hmm. I don't like it. I don't like it. It does feel like they're building up to it. I'm always falling into places, I swear. <sighs> but we're in. Oh, wow. it's like the mirror time. works. I guess no one's been here since the impact. Explains why the car was untouched. Oh, were they holding prom? Ted? Ooh, <laughs> they were holding prom when the nocturnals attacked. That's that's unfortunate. I don't understand. What is this? I thought school was supposed to be boring. It's called a prom. They had them at the end of their school year to celebrate their release. Something like that. My parents met at their prom. They always talked about it. I don't know who my parents were. I think they died when I was a baby. Who raised you then? The people at the zoo? Yeah. And they were only teenagers at the time. I don't know how we made it so long. Eventually someone found us and I ended up in a post-military commune after that. It's where I learned how to read, shoot, drive. And that's where you stole the truck from? No, I, I didn't steal it, Diego. That whole place got overrun with raiders and I barely escaped with my life. Seems like you can handle yourself either way. 
How many years has this been going on? Like, how far are we into this apocalypse? If only they knew what was coming. Wait, was the meteor the nocturnals? Oh, it's like a quiet place. It was it's aliens that attacked. See, going into this, I thought it would have been a virus, but it's like aliens. Another another keypad. Alright, shall we? Adorable, isn't it? So little. What's a car doing in a school? Like this, in like a garage it's so little you're little <laughs> is the gap big enough <laughs> you're little <laughs> what? i just called him shaw <laughs> we should leave in the morning when it's light we don't want a nocturnal coming after us mm. But something tells me something's bad's is, gonna is happen. Needs power. Okay, well, we've got all night, so don't worry. I still need to put the battery in, so while I work on that, why don't you try and get the school's power back on? Mmm, okay. I'll look around and see what I can find. Oh, I feel like something bad is gonna happen. This never ends well. Smoking monkeys. <laughs> Live at the old bakery. Okay, so we're gonna need a key code. So Sean, I've figured out how to change the door lock so we can have some alone time during prom. It's my table number and yours, Hattie. Sean and Hattie's table number. Um... That's a lot of writing. I'm not reading it. <laughs> so it looks like there's a maintenance room near the garage. That could have something to do with the power. Most likely. Well, we gotta go and search for uh, Sean and Hattie's table numbers. Because that's what their uh, that's what the code is. Sean and Hattie's table numbers. Which door is it though? course another door code it's my table oh wait 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 it's not a classroom table it's a prom table sean and hatties sean and hatties Hattie. Hattie is 05. So if Hattie's is 05, what is Sean's? And Sean's is 01. 05 or 01? Or 0105? 05? 01. Ah, got a first try, baby. <sighs> Just as I expected. Nothing happens. Needs fuel? Yeah, needs fuel. Figures. Find fuels for the generator. Okay. Well, I found fuel for the generator. This must be where Diego got all his books from. Is that not going to create a lot of noise for the nocturnals? Hmm. Me don't like this. Oh, please don't die. I like th I like these two. They're a great team, and I don't want any either so, of one of them to die. <laughs> what's the plan once we get out of this town? All I care about is getting as far away from Riddleside as I can. Maybe somewhere warmer. Yeah, definitely. 
My ears get really sore when it's cold. Oh. What? No, nothing. Do you think things will ever go back to how they were? Like, before? Hmm. Probably not. I don't think it can ever be the same. Maybe you're right. I guess we have to make do with the new normal. Yeah, with the nocturnals dying out, maybe the new normal won't be so bad. Yeah, we'll just have people to worry about. Well, not if they're like you. I've never killed anyone, you know. I'm worried I might have to once we're out of Ruddleside. Well, people are trying to kill each other inside Ruddleside too. Remember what happened to me at the furniture store? Yeah, but you didn't kill anybody. And you got away okay. Have you ever killed anyone before? Yeah, but only people who were bad. Oh, we have. How do you decide who's bad? Well, the people who attacked my zoo were bad. And they killed children. Okay, yeah, that that's bad. I guess it's something I'll have to face sooner or later. What with the world like it is? Hmm. We should sleep. Night, Diego. Good night, Ted. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. I can't take it. <laughs> Please don't say it so. Diego? Hmm. It's just the fact that we turned the power on. Hi, Diego. Hey, sorry. Did I wake you up? Why are we playing no, music? It's, it's fine. I think the sun's almost up now. Oh. So. What are you doing here? Couldn't sleep. How come? Just thinking about stuff. What stuff? I'm good at stuff. Well... You got me thinking earlier, talking about our plans. I'm just... I'm just worried you're thinking about them as our plans. As in, together. So... You want us to go our separate ways? I just have this memory screaming at me from the back of my head whenever I picture us leaving together. I know you think surviving together out there would make things easier, but I've done this all before. What happened, Diego? I was traveling with the only person I've ever really cared about. We chose to leave Boss Vigo so we could start a new life somewhere else, just us. I was so naive back then, I thought our plan was perfect. When I woke up the next day, I found out it was only my plan. Theirs was to abandon me with all our belongings and leave me for dead. And I almost was. My 16 year old self was out in the world with absolutely nothing except the knife in the back. I never want to feel that way again, Ted. Awkward. I just think, if we see our goodbyes outside of Rodoside, then we can at least end it on a nice note, you know? I don't want to let my past interfere. Hmm. I do understand. Although my character may not necessarily do that, I do understand it. Look, I understand. We can say goodbye, Diego, it's okay. I'm sorry. I know you didn't want to be alone again, but don't give up hope finding a community out there. What are you doing? Are we going to play one last well, look, song? If we're going to say goodbye, then let's at least have a goodbye dance. What? 
It's like prom, you know? <sighs> hey, get up, come on. I think I know this song. Look. I don't think we're doing this right. I think this is how they used to do it. Okay, ready? Don't mess it up. This is really sweet <laughs> and I don't want to mess this up. Hey, I'm going to miss you. I'm sorry. You probably hate me, don't you? Of course not. Don't be silly. You're my favorite person I know. I mean, he's I'm one the of the only, only people we know. Even if I knew a thousand people, I'm sure you'd still be my favorite. Maybe I... Enjoying prom? Oh, fuck. I should have shot her. Ted, what's going on? I'm finishing what Mia couldn't. But the truck is destroyed. No thanks to you two. Don't play dumb. I already found the car down the hall. That's my ticket out of here. <sighs> Guys, I'm sure we can all fit. No! no! Oh? Give me the keys. What happened to Mia? He is not going with you. What happened to her? How thoughtful of you to ask. Mia wasn't strong enough to do what had to be done. She left because of what you forced me to do. What did he even do to you? He threatened us with a gun. Said he was going to blow my fucking head off. Time to see how he likes it. <gasps> In all fair, you... Come on, quick. So that's the nocturnal. That's the monster we've been running away from. Understandable. Ted, quick. Help me hold the door. Don't mess it up. Because if Diego dies from me, I'm uninstalling. I'll find us a way out of here. I bloody knew there was a no nocturnal. I bloody knew there was going to be one. Wait. Oh, that's <laughs> creepy. The music in the background while it was like creeping overhead. Also, did Diego just kind of abandon us? Because that's quite sad to know. Oh, wait, that, that way's got glass. Do you hear, like, the music? Oh. I need to, like, lower it somehow. Shit. <laughs> oh, that was gruesome. Bloody hell. Crawl to the vent without being spotted or heard. I mean, you just got to send it on the clear path. It will literally jump at me. Never mind. You have time, apparently. Oh, gosh. Oh my gosh. See? I didn't think I'd, I'd have time. Because it, see, it, it, it felt like it, ha it was happening so quickly. So I didn't think, I, I genuinely didn't think I would have time. It's right behind me, isn't it? It's probably right behind me. That thing is terrifying. Okay, so it's very clear how it kills humans very quickly. It spits up like goo. That like just melts the skin like that. Mmm, are we going back for me or? No, we're just drove it, driving straight past.
I can't believe we actually made it. We we're out of Ruddleside. I didn't think we'd ever get this far. So, does this mean are we still going to go our separate ways? Are you kidding? We work well together. Yeah. I was wrong to doubt you before. Yes! Had to get over my own shit, you know? They're going to stay together. Yeah, don't worry. I That's a good plan. That's a good plan. Coming with me. I mean, we survived a nocturnal together. I think that proves you'd make it out there. So long as nobody else wants our car keys. Well, look what happened to the last people who tried that. And we're on our way without a scratch. Well... Oh, but that one looks cool. Oh, really? You want me to give you one? I feel I like something bad's ours. gonna happen, like <laughs> as, a, as a cliffhanger. But maybe not. Can we drive off in, into the sunset happily ever after? Are we good? Wow. Short game, but bittersweet. Really, really nice game. I love that. That was amazing. And yeah, you got a diagram of like how you acted towards people. So I, I could have been, I was competent and warm. I was a little bit of both. But I could have, I could have been incompetent and I could have been very cold and harsh towards people. Depending on my choices. What a nice little game that was. I wonder, depending on my choices as well, would uh, Diego have not made it out? I wonder if it's longer with the different uh, issues. I'm wondering, oh my god, how many endings are there? There's five other, other endings I could have got. I didn't really mean to write issues. So there's six endings in total, and there's five other endings I could have got. Could have gotten. Interesting. Oh, what a sweet little game, though. I really liked that. That was really nice.